for if I were to give a penny for every time someone asks me why I work out while I'm pregnant, I'd be broke. <laughs> Believe it or not, following an exercise program can lead to an easier delivery. I recently got a lesson from fitness trainer at Planet Fitness in Castle Hill to learn all about safe routines for pregnant women. Let's face it, exercising can be downright brutal and working out while pregnant mm, doesn't make it any easier. In fact, doctors used to say, eat more, train less. It used to be said to women that they needed to increase their caloric intake and decrease their exercise for a healthy pregnancy. And this is what's led to the obesity epidemic. Dr. Mary Rosser is an OBGYN at Montefiore Hospital. She says, while she encourages her patients to hit the gym, there are some activities expected moms should stay away from. The running, the swimming um, are very good exercises. You just want to avoid things that might make you fall, downhill skiing, contact sports. Working out has always been a part of my life, and now more than ever, I can use some extra help. And like this expert says, the key is combining strength training and cardio. If you want to keep a you know, nice definition in your arms and your shoulders, and you want to maintain the strength, it's very important that you have a balanced workout regimen. He recommends beginning with a basic wall squat to achieve an overall body workout. Make it a little easy for us to want to stand up straight. Okay. You're going to put your hands straight up and you're going to keep your feet shoulder width apart. All right, you're going to go down to a squat position, making sure that your knees are not over your toes. And after three to four sets of 10 reps, you'll feel the burn. Next, we move on to the upper body workout. Doug says it's a good idea to invest in a couple of lightweight dumbbells for toning those arms. You start there and you slip straight up in the air, have them meet in the middle. They do not touch all the way up and come straight back down. Right there, one after another. And don't forget, a good workout doesn't only stop at free weight. You gotta incorporate some cardio. See, I like to get down with this machine, the elliptical, because it's great for the upper body, the glutes, the legs. You get an overall good body workout. Do this for 15, 20 minutes, you're good to go. And if you can't make it to the gym, take to the streets. Go for a stroll around the block or the track. You know, summer's in full swing, so there's no time like the present. So whether you hit the gym or the streets, you'll find a workout is good for both you and the baby. And by D-Day, you'll be glad you did. And don't forget, drink plenty of water. You want to stay hydrated. And if you have any health concerns, consult your OB about a special exercise program. And so were you sore afterwards? I was so sore. <laughs> and that was like not even a full workout. All right, it's so, so important, though, to keep at your own pace. That's yeah. so important. Some good tips there. <laughs> Thank you, Stacey Ann. We've got your top run stories coming up. Stick around.